Daily Broadside, day 454. A great Chevy big block in the annals of great Chevy big blocks. I was watching, uh, I found some site that's basically, it's like Insect Wars or something like that. And it's like original UFC style, like insect on insect, right? And I'm going to tell you what, man. Ain't nobody beating the praying mantis. The praying mantis destroys all insects. I don't care if it's a wasp, a millipede, a centipede, a trilopede, a billipede, any of those peds, all right? The, the, the praying mantis, when he locks down, he's like, just, he's got that thing locked down and you ain't going nowhere. You ever seen the video of the praying mantis eating, um, it was like a gecko or a chameleon or something. He just locks that dude down and just starts eating the dude's face and like the whole jaw, like the jaw area of the gecko, skink, whatever the hell it was, lizards of some sort. Lizards got too many classifications, by the way. They're like bugs. Let's just put them into like eight categories and, and call it a day. But yeah, he's like just chewing his face off. And the, the dude, like the lizards just, he's taking it like a boss, man. He was like, he's like Henry Winkler uh, in a night shift. He's like, Chuck, I gotta tell you, you stuck in there. You just, you just you were cool, calm, clear. He's like, could you get me out of here? You know, great movie, great movie. But anyway, uh, you know, I was thinking about how stupid baseball cards are uh, this morning. And I thought to myself, you know, baseball cards are really stupid. What is the point? Or, and, and I get, they're, they're hockey, baseball. There's cards for there's cards for everything, right? But baseball cards, that's the, the, the big one, right? The big draw in the card world. Now you got cards for like Game of Thrones and the Teenage Mutant Turtles and all this. But you think about how stupid it is. Like, all right, we're going to have this sport. It's going to come out. We're going to put a weird picture. They're not even posing for it. It's just a random picture of them like at batting practice or something. You know, and here's here's uh, Tom Clefluglia's uh, rookie card and all. I think it would be cooler if they did this in like the private sector, you know? You're at like some manufacturing plant and you're like, Oh man, here we got uh, Randy Flutar's uh, rookie card. He's uh, he works in maintenance down in uh, shipping, you know. <laughs> and he's like sitting there with like a broom or like a pro press, you know, plumbing deal. Yeah, I, I just think that would be a little bit cooler because that's how stupid baseball cards are. And then they're worth like forty-two million dollars. What was it? The uh, I think it was the original original Super Mario game in the box. It's never been opened in one of those little plastic uh, boxes that protects the real box. Went for like, I mean, it was some insane, it was like $6 million or some crazy crap. I don't know what NES games cost in 1984, but I can only surmise that they were probably like 18 bucks or something, I don't know. But think about how stupid that is. And then you, you've like, and I get it, if you can afford a $6 million game, it's not that much money, but that really is dumb that people pay that kind of stuff and then it just drives the price up for everybody else who can't afford a six million dollar game but would like some semblance of a game like that it just gets it gets a little silly and while we're talking about praying mantises my house has become an aviary i don't live in the city i live out in the kind of the the quasi sticks and um i i was looking i was outside yesterday about three hours just sitting out on my patio just taking in the world and I counted no less than like 11 different birds, right? It was crazy. I mean, I got I got these two like pigeon turtle doves. I don't know what the hell they are, but they're always together. They walk around together. They're always in pairs. I got hummingbirds. I got jays. I got uh, nut thatches and whistle thippers and camelucas. I don't I don't know what I don't know what all these birds are. But one thing I do know, and I, I was out there for like an hour last night googling every time he rode by. I think, I think it's a northern mockingbird. He's got this like <laughs> sound that he does and it pisses me off. I hate that bird. He sits there on the wire and he's just got this fan tail and he just sits there and, and fans it and it gets slow and then it just, and then it just, and I, and I just want to take, mm, I, I don't like that bird. I don't like the sound it makes. And he like is always like dive bombing um, him and another, like one of his buddies, a little, little buddy uh they like dive bomb like the cool birds like the crows and the magpies and the blackbirds and all that um i don't like that you know quit screwing with hawks the hawk will kill you you know but yeah I, best i can tell he's gray 
he's got some kind of J features from what I can tell. I was like deep into North Carolina birds last night and uh, that's the best I could come up with. Gray, he's got like a white patch on his little stupid fan tail and then when he stretches out his wings he's got like a couple white spots on his uh, on his wing. Not, I don't know why I'm telling you all this because it's not like somebody's going to come back and be like the genus and species of that bird is blah 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 blah. But yeah, so. Uh, and lastly, another thing about animals. I was on vacation when I was probably in like middle school and we were, uh, I was up north in the northeast corridor and uh, I was with some people that um, what they were uh, uh, lobstering, I guess. I don't know what you call it. So I'm out there watching them, you know, pull some traps in and all this stuff. And they started like debarnacling lobsters. <laughs> and I'm like, golly, I didn't know those things stood still long enough for a barnacle attachment. Maybe, maybe you could just be swimming and a barnacle just brush by and just that's how quickly they attach. I would have thought it took some time for them to kind of, you know, put their mass on you to where they can't. Because, you know, like crabs. Crabs, man, they'll like lose legs and they'll like fold up their joints to where they can't even move and stuff. And anyway, so they're debarnacling this stuff with pliers. Now, let me try that and all this. I took one of their eyes off. I didn't. I thought it was a barnacle. It was like a different color, and I was like, oh, oh, and they just quickly just took it from me and threw it back. Um, so out there somewhere, because I think lobsters live to be like they're like Moses. They live to be like 814 years old. There's a one-eyed lobster one-eyed willy that's uh that doesn't like me very much and i want to just take this time to apologize i was just trying to free you of barnacles one of them was kind of the same color as your beady little eye and quite frankly why did we create you with barnacle like eyes so in my defense i think it's kind of fair that you know it happened i didn't you know it wasn't completely malicious but anyway thank you